Alright, space fans, let's warp right into a star system you've probably never heard about, but you'll want to remember, Gliese 1. Sounds mysterious, right? This isn't some random name, it actually marks the very first entry in Wilhelm Gliese's star catalog. That makes Gliese 1 the OG of nearby red dwarfs. It's just over 14 light years away in the constellation of Sculptor. Think of it as our cosmic neighbor, close enough to wave but still a bit far for a cup of coffee. Now, Gliese 1 is a red dwarf, tiny, cool, and not exactly the kind of star you'd want to vacation near. If our sun's a blazing bonfire, Gliese 1 is more like a glowing ember. These red dwarfs are the most common stars in our galaxy. They're also super long-lived. Basically, they're the Methuselahs of the cosmos. But what about planet? Here's the twist. So far, astronomers haven't found any confirmed exoplanets orbiting Gliese 1. I know it's like showing up to a party in nobody's home. There's no evidence of a protoplanetary disk either, so no baby planets in the making. But with our telescopes getting better every year, who knows? The universe loves surprises, and since I know some of you are Star Trek fans, Gliese 1 hasn't made its way into any official Trek storyline yet. But, let's be real, the idea of red dwarfs as possible outposts or mysterious destinations that's pure Starfleet exploration vibes. Imagine it. Captain, we're approaching Gliese 1, sensors show, nothing. Shall I set a course for the next star? So why should you care about a quiet, planetless red dwarf? Every star like Gliese 1 is a piece of the galactic puzzle. These stars could hide secrets, maybe even habitable worlds we just haven't spotted yet. And if we ever want to hop across our stellar neighborhood, stars like Gliese 1 are our stepping stones. If you geek out about cosmic mysteries, hit like, smash that subscribe button, and join me as we chase the wonders of deep space, one star at a time. Until next time, Keep looking up.